welcome to Kids Zone. I wonder how your week's been? Hasn't it been hot? I hope you found ways to stay cool. Well, let's start with a game, shall we? All you're going to need is a small piece of paper like this, scrunch it up into a ball and pop it onto a tabletop or I've used a tray. And then you'll need a straw each, but if you don't have a straw, you can just blow because the aim is to be the person to get the ball off the edge of the table or tray. But of course, the other person's trying to stop you, aren't they? Have you got the idea? Press pause and have a play. Well, I hope you enjoyed that game. It was fun, wasn't it? Now, I wonder if you've had a birthday whilst we've been having to stay in our homes. I know that Isabella and Je Benjamin and Zach have all had their birthdays recently, and perhaps you have too. Well, we might not have been able to celebrate it in the way that we'd want to, but I've made a cake and I've put candles on it. And if you've had your birthday recently, happy birthday. And today is called Pentecost and some people call it the birthday of the church because that was the day that God sent the Holy Spirit and that was the day that the church began to tell everybody about Jesus. So we can light the candles and we can say happy birthday Church of Jesus. Are you ready? Shall we say together, Happy Birthday Church of Jesus? Okay. Happy Birthday Church of Jesus. Are you gonna help me blow it out? Ready? One, two, three. Now Penelope is going to tell us the story of that first birthday, Pentecost. Jerusalem was full of visitors from all over the world. They had come for the festival of Pentecost. The believers were together in one room when suddenly a sound like a strong wind blew through the house, filling it with noise. Something like flames seemed to burn in the air and touch each person there. As the Holy Spirit touched them, they all began to speak in other languages. The noise from the house attracted a crowd. What's happening? Some of them said. I can understand what these men are saying. They're speaking in my language, talking about God. How is this possible? They're drunk, laughed others. No, we're not said Peter, coming out to speak to the crowd. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. Then Peter stood up to teach all those who would listen. First, Peter reminded them of what the prophets had told them would happen. Then he told them about Jesus, God's chosen one, the Messiah. When Peter described how Jesus had been arrested and beaten and then put to death, the people were horrified. What shall we do? they asked. You must turn away from your sins and be baptised, Peter told them. Then you can be forgiven and you will receive the Holy Spirit as we have. That day, 3,000 people became followers of Jesus. Well, the friends of Jesus were in a room praying when God sent the Holy Spirit. And God wanted everyone to know that something amazing and wonderful was happening when the Holy Spirit came. So what did people hear? That's right, like the sound of a wind blowing inside the house. And what did people see? Yeah, like little flames come on top of everybody's head there. Maybe they looked a little bit like these flames. 
They weren't hot, they didn't burn anyone. They just looked like little flames as the Holy Spirit came on each person there. And what happened after that? That's right, all the Christians started talking in lots of languages so that everybody in all of Jerusalem could hear about Jesus. And 3,000 people became Christians and followed Jesus that day. And you know, we, as when we start following Jesus, we have the God's Holy Spirit in us too. It's God's power at work in us. Thank you, Jesus. So let's stand and praise God, just like those first Christians at Pentecost. I see you crazy guys. Everybody sing ah 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 We praise yeah. you Lord Jesus ah 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 We praise you Lord oh. Everybody sing ah 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 We praise yeah. you Lord Jesus ah 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 We praise you Lord Oh well God's power working in us God can do much much more than anything we God can do much, much more Oh, well, God's power Working in us God can do much, much more Than anything we ask Oh, everything God God can do much, much more Here we go God can do so much more than we ask him with his power. And in our prayers today, we're going to ask him to show his love and power to the people we know who don't yet know his love or goodness in their lives. And we're going to use a plain piece of paper and a ordinary candle and some watered down paint to help us say our first prayer. I'm going to write Jesus on my paper with the candle and when I've done that we're going to put some watered down paint over it and as I do that we're going to say a prayer. I'm going to say Lord God show your love to all the people who don't yet know Jesus and reveal him to them. Amen. So God's love can spread out from us to the people around us. And we're going to use uh, a pebble being thrown into some water to help us with this idea today. As we throw the stone into the water, we're gonna say a prayer. We're gonna say, may your love spread out from us to the people we know, like the ripples we can see. 
Amen. Well, we're nearly at the end of Kid Zone for today. It's been great that we can join together in this way, and we'll be back next week for some more Kid Zone. And we'd love to show any photographs that you send in to us, perhaps a photo of what you've been doing um, in the week, or playing in the garden, playing blow football perhaps, or a picture that you've drawn, or anything at all that you'd like to share with us. Send them in. And perhaps today you'd like to light some birthday candles to celebrate the day God sent the Holy Spirit to us, God's power in us. Well, hope you have a really good week. God bless you and goodbye. Mm -hmm.